From Southwest Detroit, deep within the internet's waste depository, it's the Saggy Show! the thing on the TV. We're live. Are we, we are we live? Yes. What the fuck? Well, hey. <laughs> I forgot. All types of surprises today. The lights are on. Welcome to Look the at this. Show. Ah! <laughs> Man, he's ain't on. Well, hey, how you doing? <laughs> we had some some kind of technical shits happen. And then fucking He's just like, oh, we're live. <laughs> I thought you. Woo! I thought you could see it. I put to, to, I know. Well, we. Yeah. My monitor was not working. I looked up; it was just blank. It crashed. So yeah. Yeah, something crashed. <laughs> Justin's brain. Dude, Shaggy, can you sing the national anthem better than that chick last night? I seen some shit about that. Some fucking bitch singer, like totally botched the national anthem. At, uh, I think it was the, the um, home run derby game. The M- M- MLB. Uh-huh. And I'm not sure if she's a country singer or a pop singer, but I just saw that she like fucked the whole national anthem up. Bar-ass and then, dogs, but she's came out since ass. and said that she was mad drunk. Shaggy, and now she's going to go get help with her drinking <laughs> problem. <laughs> she fucked the national anthem up. Okay, first, I'm going to sing the national anthem just off my memory. Yes. I'm not, I don't have no lyrics. Let's see if I could sing it. Okay. <clears throat> Damn, if you had an American flag to fly like behind me gently, that'd be so awesome. Can you pull that off? Can I pull that bitch, off? Bitch, bitch. Yeah. Behind you? Or just, just like, you know, like oh. faded and, you know, like a faded flag waving. Yeah, I can probably do that. Let's see if I could do this. Oh, there it there is. There we go. There okay. Boom. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail from the twilight's last beam, whose broad stripes and bright stars brought peace to the night. Some more bounds, but uh. Ramparts we hail, bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that the flag was still there. I'm doing good, ain't I? There, oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the Got to give a second for the audience to pop a little bit. Let it sizzle. And the home of my boy Dave. How did I do? Was that almost there? Um, Who did it better? Me or that bitch? Let's hear hers. Star Ingrid Andrus is getting some unwanted attention for her rendition of the Star Spangled Banner that she sang at the Home Run Derby last night. <laughs> Yours was better. <laughs> Yours was better, man. That's horrible. I really did on, sound you know, better. On the national anthem, but, um, Maybe too many spins there. I think, I think you should pick a key signature Who's talking? for the musicians out there. Uh, I can buy she was drunk, because that sounds like shit. Whoo. I got all the, the, the lyrics, <laughs> right? Right? No. No. Not even close? Yeah, yeah, close. Close. It's, it's longer, isn't it? I left a lot of shit out. But I'm saying- It was, I, in, it was in the middle. It was where I, I think I kind of like fucking left like half of it out. No, no, just-, just <laughs> No? 
the, in the middle. Let's pull, but, then, you but, brought it right back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where? Well, I just thought of this. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't just think of it, but I just remembered to bring this up. We're gonna start dropping more shit on the store. Now I know I showed you. No, okay. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta tell you something ridiculous. About <laughs> yeah. I gotta keep it fucking real. Yeah. No. Let's. Okay. Let's, let's say it. This is cool. This. This is quality, man. This. This prints on there. This is good. It's not a sticker. It's like shellac down there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is fucking quality. And feel how thick that is. Feel this frisbee. Yeah. No. I, it's. I it's the fuck. That's a frisbee. Yeah. That motherfucker. It's fucking tough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I was like, yo, let's put these out. These are dope. Summertime. You know, motherfuckers might play at the beach, like we were talking about before yeah. on Justin's college campus. Uh-huh. Whatever, where Justin's playing the acoustic guitar. There's a beach on the college campus. And Justin's like, well, how much should we put these up for? How much should we sell these for? And I'm not, I don't know how much to charge for shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm very dumb when it comes to that stuff. I don't know how much. I'm like, well, Frisbees you can buy for like five, ten bucks, right? Right? Uh-huh. He was like, well... The these cost what was it thirty five dollars? No, it, well it's thirty bucks almost. Thir- just about thirty dollars for us. We have to pay for these to manufacture to be made. Thirty fucking dollars we pay for these before we even sell them. Holy shit! So I'm like, what the fuck? How? You- <laughs> what do you put a frisbee up for? Like thirty five, forty dollars? So you gotta mark them up a little bit, make it worth your time. But what the fuck? Who the fuck would pay? Thirty-five, forty dollars, and that's on the low end. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Most motherfuckers put it for like sixty because you gotta mark that shit up. I'm gonna hold on to this because this is worth money. <laughs> 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 However, something that may be worth our while. Doo <laughs> brown. Ooh. I'm trying to make it so you can see them. That's the seat. That's the back. These are seat covers for your car, my friend. Yes. Damn it. Look at that shit. These are fucking awesome. Yeah, those are seat covers. Uh, I saw that we could You can make- put them on your speedboat. Yep. Could. Put them on your big rig. And you get You can put them. these on your fucking your your scooter. <laughs> if it had a seat on it <laughs> with a back on it. <laughs> So these might possibly be going up. And it comes in twos. Yes. So comes in a That's dose for my Spanish friends out there. That's right. <laughs> oh! Let's 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 go. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> National Day. Blah, blah, motherfucker. <laughs> Today is first and foremost. I was excited about this day today. You were. I was. National Corn Fritters Day. I never had a corn fritter, and I looked it up, and they looked delicious. So anyhow, um, so I Googled where 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 do you get corn fritters? Where can you buy them from? And besides restaurants, I said, hey, man, your local Kroger's frozen food section. And I was like, well, goddamn, I'm going to Kroger's to get me some corn fritters. They're like, you know, oven, you just throw them in the oven and heat them up or whatever, you know, and they're the frozen foods. So I go, and they had everything but the corn fritters. I was in there, and I was just like, well, since they got corn fritters, I guess I got to get a runner-up to it. You know what I'm saying? Something for us to enjoy on the show. So instead of corn fritters, I got us a S'mores Cake Parfait. (gasps) Oh. (laughs) Nice. Yep. That's a good substitute. I know. I was like, well, since we can't find corn fritters, the nice summer treat, I might as well get a different summertime treat. And that's... (laughs) <laughs> the s'mores cake parfait. Oh, that just looks like deliciousness. Today is also National Personal Chef Day. Ooh, wow. I really don't know much about personal chefs because I've never had one. Mm-hmm. I take that back. Two rehabs I went to. They had. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell the chefs to cook you up some shit, and they were good. Each year on July 16th, National Personal Chef Day recognizes the dedication and hard work of personal chefs across the United States. The difference between a personal chef and a private chef. Oh, what is the difference here? A private chef usually works exclusively for one client and typically lives in the person's home or on the property. A personal chef may have many clients, run their own business, or work for a company. 
Let's see how we observe it. For anyone aiming to become a personal chef or run their own beeswax, that'd be business, this day is for you. Pat yourself on the back. If you know somebody interested in being a personal chef, encourage them. I never knew anybody even thought about yeah, thinking I, about it. I don't know anyone. That'd be some great. Be their taste tester. Thank a personal chef you know for the outstanding work. Give them a shout out or a recommendation. Can't do that because I don't know any. Yeah, that's true. I don't know anybody with one. I don't know anybody that uses one. And I don't know anybody that wants to be one or is one. I kind of feel like a bitch if I was a private chef. Yeah, but Why? You, but you get paid a lot, though. Who knows what else you got to do, though? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what are you alluding to? <laughs> they call up for a hamburger at 2 in the morning. Yeah, so. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> They're That's like, I also want that taco. Oh, wow. You're a man. You don't have a taco. <laughs> you don't know that. Taco? <laughs> you don't know it's between my butt cheeks. <laughs> uh, today's also National Atomic <laughs> Veterans Day. Whoa. It's dedicated to individuals who bravely served, witnessing historical events with lasting impact. Oh, shit. So that's like PTSD. the motherfuckers that, like, PTSD, right? sat back at, no, atomic, like the motherfuckers that sat back and watched the nuclear tests and shit, oh, I'm guessing. Okay. Well, let's see. They likely had no idea what kind of hazards to which they were exposing the world. Bullshit. That's such a lie. <laughs> At the, uh, at the end of World War II, grew near the first nuclear weapons were tested and detonated over the next couple of decades. Hundreds of thousands of people became victims of exposure from innocent citizens to scientists and military personnel with, their, uh, with the experience of a serious cancers and other medical problems. See? National Atomic Veterans Day is here to show appreciation and honor these men and women who serve the country and, in doing so, sacrifice not only the time and service, but also their life long. Nuclear fallout radiation shits. Today's also Rural Transit Day. I'm so bad at saying that word. Rural. Rural. rural how do you say it? Rural. 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 Like whirlpool? Rural. Yeah, rural. That's, that's like rural, rural but rural. rural. It's a hard word to say. Rural. 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 Yeah. It's like a hard whirl. Word to say. Like whirling around, but rural. Like are you are. I'm. Yeah, I'm looking at it right here. <laughs> Rural, rural, rural. See, urban, rural, urban, urban, suburban. Yep. Rural, rural. Urban, suburban, rural. It's hard. Rural. I can't. It's hard to say. Rural. rural. How do you say it? Rural. How come you can say it so easy? Because it's rural. 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 You know, I think I've said this on this actual show before, but a word I couldn't say back in the day was phenomenon. Like, I couldn't say it was phenomenon. I could not say phenomenon. Phenomenon? It was always phenomenon. I, as much as, and I, it's in a, a song, Bugs on My Nugs. And the, the first line is, well, I don't understand the phenomenon. But it's, well, I don't understand the phenomenon. Just left it. You just, you just kept it the way it is? Well, I didn't know. I couldn't say it properly. Oh, okay. So, so just left there, it. There was multiple tries at it? The, like, fucking an hour's worth of tries. Oh, just trying to say it. And it just kept getting worse and worse. Men have penises. What do girls have? Phenomenons. <laughs> no, really. Vaginas. Say it again. Neddens. Nope. Say it. You, say the you said ver. Private parts. He said, there you go. Thank you, Ronan. He said ver. Yeah, he calls it virgina. <laughs> Wait, is it? You don't say that on purpose? You're not, I thought that was always just like a joke thing. That's just how he says it? <laughs> don't. Just, just stop. Stop. Hey. Cut out. Stop. Let go. Stop. Let go or it'll go on the ground. Stop. Let go or I put it. Stop. I don't want a, I don't want a glass shard in my foot, please. Stop. I'll put it on the ground. For what? Then let go. Just, you're being a bully. Now you're being a you're stubborn. You're admitting you're being a bully. You're being stubborn. No, I don't want you to break my let shit. Let go. No, bully. Let go. You're, Justin, Man. help me out here. I'm being bullied. Who's somebody that breaks your stuff for no reason? Um, what are they called? I'm probably guessing Leona. Does it? It what what, what are those anymore. kind of people called? Oh, do that. siblings. Siblings. No, they're called bullies. Oh, uh, um. Bullies. A, a five-year-old ki kid from a McDonald's playhouse. Wow, that was pretty specific. Please don't. I even said please. Please don't. Okay. Just please don't move it. Okay. Why? Why? I was cleaning it up. That's I wasn't cool. moving it anymore. That's cool. I actually had picked up the stuff, and you were like, "Please don't." Don't move that. Because you were looking at it and you've been moving it all Here. around. Please don't. Here. <laughs>
Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That, my friends, was... You know what? I have one photo for you today. Okay. Little something that around here we call photo boy shags. I'll switch them up. <laughs> all right, so this is this is from the all right, I don't know if you recall the last photo boy shags, but there was a guy holding like the bricks of money. Okay. Yes. It turns out they're all one dollar bills. bills. Yes. So this is from the same Instagram site that I follow. I don't know why all these like uh, would be rappers enjoy flossing their their little bit of money so much, but it seems like he's got fifties about halfway up his arm, and the rest are twenties, I think, because it's clearly twenty on top of Andrew Jackson. <laughs> but I think I see fifties on the on like maybe up to like here. Well, he's Chad, just like spreading his paycheck out. Chad Wait, thought this man. was me first, though with the, my the graduation first... money. That's what I'm saying. I, I think he like cashed his paycheck, like actually got cash for it. <laughs> it was like, check it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just know it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Uh, I don't think you should be able to floss money unless you have it. Unless you're trying to be silly. But man But he's not. That's why I don't show their faces because I feel bad for him. Yes. I cut him off at the chin. Got him doesn't an look, outfit. No, doesn't look changed. great. And also that pose doesn't look great. And then <laughs> he's in the bathroom. And the money doesn't look naked because his nuts would be hanging down crazy hard. <laughs> That's only during an eclipse. Yeah, he's in front of the, the bathroom door at the end of the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no question. That was his. That was his paycheck from Home Depot that week. <laughs> and he's like, "I'm a rapper. Check it out. A yeah. ball it. That's right. All right, we got a little bit of time left." And I am going to do something that we've never done before in here. Now, I'm not going to look at the chat, but Justin is going to. Okay. And I'm going to take a request on something to draw. I have an electronic pad right here, and I'm ready to fucking get down. You're going to pick. I'm picking? Don't Not, not like a puffer fish eating a carrot. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, you gotta look at the chat too No Why It's up to you <laughs> You have to play a role in this show as well Can you draw a pig octopus A poctopus Sure Yeah it's probably gonna be stupid or but I can a octopus A two octopus <laughs> Yeah it's a poctopus <laughs> <laughs> Alright let's see a two octopus A two pig to puss gonna have thug life Two pig to puss Alright we'll do a two pig to puss Okay, there goes the old trusty bandana, the two pig to puss. Come on, man. Look at every time like my fingers hit this stupid fucking button, and dumb shit happens. And I don't like it. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I was trying to do uh two pig lips. Two pig lips? <laughs> two, two, two pig to puss. Like two pig a puss. Two pig lips is awesome. Two pig lips. <laughs> So I'm one, trying to unpress them. One, one of them is a right click and one of them is a left click. You know what? I, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> Fucker. Of course I had paper. Oh, Did you throw the pen at it? Yeah. <laughs> is there a mark in it now? No. Oh, I thought that was a mark. You're a mark. You're a narc. <laughs> All right, Manny. You called it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Too pig to puss. No, it's to to pick a puss. To to pick a puss. Why is that? I don't know. So there you go. This is gonna go very fast now, cause I know what I'm doing. I don't have to worry about my finger hitting some dumbass fucking button, and fucking everything up. Yeah, I don't know. Technology's stupid. Wait, are you doing to pick the puss? Or to pick a puss. To to pick the puss. To pick to pick a puss. So there's a there's a Tupac, pig. there's a, a pig, pig and an octopus. Okay, the, the pig yeah. is still here. All right. He has a little pencil mustache and a little chin hair, right? All eyes on him. <laughs> He's happy. How do you know? Because I'm drawing him. All right. <laughs> so, bang. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that shit. Is He's got awesome. pistols, too? No. Oh, I can't see that far. Man, He's got a microphone and a joint. I still don't understand how you just like do things like that. This is horrible. I, 
<laughs> okay, have me try to draw two pocket <laughs> Exactly. Let's see how that looks. Two big dipos. <laughs> well, yeah, two. Yeah. Well, you see, that was big, nice. two pocket and an octopus oh, yeah. all two rolled pig, up in one. Two pig dipos. Okay. That's right. D- does it say thug life on the stomach? It says pig life. Pig life, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That's what's up. Oh, boy. All right. Well, fuck, man. Uh, we will be back on Thursday.